welcome back to Beverly's Design Time. I'm actually working on another DIY, but my file corrupted. And I had to reformat my disk. Luckily, I had already uploaded half of the video, and I've completed the whole entire DIY. So now I need to go back to Dollar Tree and repurchase some of the items so I can redo the DIY and show you guys what I did without actually showing you the finished product first. Also, later in the video, I'm going to show you the chandelier pendants along with the bling that I'm going to be giving out to five of my subscribers. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And make sure you watch on Saturday because I'm going to be announcing the winners of the rose gold bling as well. Let's get on with the DIY. All right, first I have a white charger and a silver charger. I'm not sure which one of these I'm going to use just yet, um, but we'll figure that out. I also have some of this air dry modeling clay and I picked this up at Walmart I think it was about seven dollars but um I've been really busy with this guy and I'm really excited about what I made today so I have several different projects that I'm working on now so this is going to be really easy guys and as much as I like to keep this a straight out Dollar Tree DIY I just cannot because they don't have all the things that I like to use sometimes not only that this clay has been sitting around it was almost full but half of it had dried up so I just figured I'd try and find a way to use it up before it all dried up and I did come up with a way. I don't think many of you guys know that I actually make natural soaps therefore I have a lot of soap molds hanging around and I decided to put some of them to use and this is a butterfly mold that I have and I also have a rose mold that I'm going to use in this DIY. And I'm going to be using some Dollar Tree Fix All Adhesive. I think this is um, strong enough to hold this project. I have some glitter here, some Mod Podge, um, some water brush and a cup, and some silver acrylic paint. I also have some turquoise, just in case I decide to go blue. And I have this really beautiful blue glitter as well. So I'm going to figure this out as we go. All right, so guys, it's really simple. This is what we're going to do. We're just going to take this clay and just pull a piece out. Now this piece is a little bit stiff so all I need to do is just dip my finger in some water. And when you get your clay guys make sure you seal it up as best as you can. I put this tape on it and then I put it inside of an airtight bag. So I'm just conditioning the clay and that means to just move it around to knead it like you knead dough but with your fingertips. Make it really smooth. All right, and as you see, I have three different size butterflies on here. We're going to do the big one. All right, you just pack it in there. And then if you have like a utility knife, you can trim away the excess clay once you pop it out the mold. I do have one, but I don't have it with me right now. So I'm just going to pop this out and show you guys what it looks like. You just put your fingers underneath and push up. And that's how it comes out. Like I said, I don't have my utility knife, but this is a piece of cardboard. And I'm just going to use it just to cut that little extra little clay on the back off. Go in the little crevices and you want a really clean butterfly. And that's how she looks take your plate or wherever you plan to glue it to. What you want to do because over time when it's drying it might kind of raise up so I like to just pull the wings down a little bit and then sit it on there. It's going to take about 16 hours to dry so the next one I'm going to do is this rose. And this is how the rose looks. Now you can do butterflies all the way around if you want or you could do roses all the way around but I'm just going to do a butterfly or rose a butterfly or rose butterfly or rose all the way around and I might add some rhinestones at the end of the project so um, I've already done quite a few ahead of time so let me just grab those so you can see what they look like now this is how I plan to put them on the charger since the plate is going to partially cover these I'm going to push the butterflies right to the top just like so and then just center all this and get it all even. I'm going to let these dry and then I'll come back and go on with the DIY. 
all right guys so while i'm waiting for my roses and butterflies to dry i decided that i'll go ahead and show you guys my new pieces from sofiel jewelry and a couple of these pieces i have been looking at for a long time and i'm just so excited to finally receive them all right so first of all i want to show you another one of my bracelets and of course this is another heart and i have bling in this one also and it's a puffed heart as you can see and I went online again and found an image of a diamond that I liked and put it on the inside. So that's what it looks like. And it came with some of these extra little Sofiel jewelry charms. One of them is actually the Sofiel heart. It kind of looks like a pretzel heart, but it's really cute. And it came with three other cute little charms. Isn't that cute? And then I saw this one. And as you can see, it has a really detailed Eiffel Tower and airplane charm. I really would like to go to Paris one day, so this is the closest thing that I could get to it until I'm actually there. And of course, it comes with three of the little Sofiel jewelry charms. And there's the heart. And the same thing, you just pull it like this and put it on. And this one kind of just closed on its own. But look at that, isn't it cute? This is going to be cute with the other two bracelets that I have. Alright, so I don't know if you guys have ever seen the charm bracelet that I received from Sofia Jewelry. I've been wanting to add some more charms. And this one, let me get the other one out. These two go together. And when I saw this, I thought it was so cute. Look at that. It's a cute little pink car with a surfboard on top. And here's like the little camper that goes on the back. I don't know if you can see that. It actually snaps on. Just like that. And you just slide it on your bracelet just like that. That is so cute. Finally, I have this charm. With me being a YouTuber and all, naturally I was drawn to it. And it's so pretty. There's a little stone inside. I don't know what it is, but it really sparkles like a real diamond. It's really pretty. I don't know if you guys can catch that on camera, but in person it's really gorgeous. And there's the top of it. And you just slide it on that way. So it would be on your bracelet like that. So you guys, I'm really happy with all my pieces. They really have a large selection of jewelry, and I would advise you guys to go over and check them out. So yeah, go to SoulfieldJewelry.com and uh, tell them Beverly sent you. All right, guys, so back to the DIY. All right, guys, so it has been about five hours, and they are still a little bit uh, damp. So I would say let these dry overnight. So off camera, I went ahead and started painting my butterfly and I'm doing them in the silver I'm just painting the outside of the butterfly first and then put the butterfly down and paint the top just like that and I'm going to go ahead and do the roses in turquoise and I've decided to use the white charger for this DIY I'm going to finish up painting my butterflies and roses and I'll be right back. Alright, so I just figured I'd come back on camera and show you a couple of the roses. I'm going to go outside and give them a coat of this Mod Podge gloss sealer just to seal it and give it a sheen. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and blast it with some of this glitter spray to give it more of a glittery bling. Alright, so while I'm waiting for my butterflies and roses to dry, I want to just pop in and show you guys again what I'm giving out. So I've decided that I will announce the winners on June the 30th. I think earlier in the video I said that I was selecting five winners, but I'm actually selecting six. Each winner will receive 10 of these chandelier pendants and a roll of this bling from Dollar Tree. And there's five rolls of bling on it. So yeah, I'm going to select the six, June 30th. And don't forget to come back Saturday, June 23rd which is Cameron, my son's birthday. <laughs> I'll be announcing the Rose Gold Bling winners on this Saturday, so make sure you come back to see who won. All right, guys, back to the DIY. Okay, so first off, I'm going to evenly arrange my butterflies around the charger. Now, you guys can measure if you like, but I'm just going to eyeball it. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start gluing these down now. And I'm just going to put the fix-all on all four wings and then in the middle. Okay. 
Okay, this is the look after we've glued down the butterflies. Isn't that gorgeous? Now let's go ahead and add the roses. let this sit for about 15 minutes come back and I think I want to add some bling around the outside I don't know if I want to do the blue or if I want to do just the silver but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for a while and I come right back hey guys I'm back and I went ahead and started decorating the charger I put some bling around the outside and I still need to put some here, so I just waited to get back on camera and let you guys see how I do that. I added some rhinestones here, and that's between each rose and butterfly. And then I added a smaller stone right above the butterfly. Now you can take this a step further if you want to. You could take some small rhinestones and add it on the wings of the butterflies. So that's just an option. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and take some more of the fix-all. And use my popsicle stick to guide it. I wish they had one with the little narrow tip so I wouldn't have to do it this way, but just take the popsicle stick and just put the fix all down. Now I'm going to give that a couple of minutes to set up so it would be a little bit more tacky. Meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and add my two rhinestones, the larger ones. just use a really small amount of glue and you guys know I always recommend using hot glue for your rhinestones because if you use regular glue it kind of tones down the bling so now I want to go ahead and add my small rhinestone right there so now let's just lay down the bling now you might have to reposition this a few times to get it to curve exactly like you want it to. It kind of helped me to turn the charger when I land down the bling and that helps me to give it the curve that it needs. Now I'm going to let this sit for about an hour then I'll come back and let you guys see what it looks like set up. Okay everyone this concludes my DIY. And again, I must say I'm very pleased with how it turned out. And I hope you guys are too. And if you enjoyed this DIY, please leave me a thumbs up. And if you are a subscriber, make sure you turn on your notification bell. And if you aren't a subscriber, please subscribe now. It's absolutely free. Alright guys, that's it for now. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.